Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how you can group the two different or basically the chart and filter together. So the reason behind this is that many times you would like based on your user requirement to group the filter along with a particular chart or have the filter impact only on a particular chart. So how you can do that is by going into the edit mode first, um, selecting the filter. So this is the date range filter that I've shown you earlier. And then you can select a particular chart. So I've just selected this chart by holding down my control key. So first you select that, hold down the control key and then select the chart. And then you right click and click on group. Once you click on the group, the filter and the chart is grouped together. Now, if I go into the front end, you will observe that as I change the value within the filter, only this chart is or this chart will going to change. So to do that, I am going and selecting the 2010 January 1st and for end date, I am selecting 2010 December 31st and click apply. So you will observe that only this chart is changed, not and nothing has happened in any of the charts. So for example, this particular chart still shows you the 2009, 2010, 11 and 12. If we have not grouped it, this filter and this chart, then all the other charts would have been uh, filtered based on the date range we have selected. So that's how you can group a particular chart with a particular filter based on your need. Also, uh, one of the uh, better thing to do is is just drag this so let me select this first maybe we need to ungroup this so ungroup select outside and then just put it like this over here and then select again by holding down your control key right click and group so this makes a lot of sense now if I go into the view mode now this looks like a part this this filter looks like a part of this chart itself and we don't have to uh, really make a lot of uh, uh, you know clarification in terms of why it is here or not it, it looks pretty self-explanatory that this chart is related to only this particular uh, this particular this this filter is related to the this particular chart <laughs> so uh, that's how uh, you can basically customize and group the chart and filter together. And now I'll meet you in the next video with some new topics.